Anyway, you're welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. It's time for newspaper review. And before you meet my guest, let's take a look at what's on the headlines of our newspaper. So Ghanaian Times says, Guta Nuta clash in Accra. Gunshots fired. Stones fly. Seven arrested. Three injured. Also, Attorney General withdraws referendum bill from Parliament. And another one says, 10 more sectionists arrested in Upper West region. And Veep opens week-long a great show in Ho. Now to the Daily Graphic. It says, Assembly elections to come off as planned. This is according to the Electoral Commission. This is the Deputy Chairman of EC in charge of operations, Mr. Samuel Tete. And so we, if we have time, I'm sure we'll, we'll touch on that as well. GRA ignored fire safety advice. This is according to the Ghana Fire Service. And enforce anti-corruption laws. That's from Anna Bosman. Uh, she told prosecuting agencies. The finder says that support my government for speedy transformation. President Raleigh's chiefs and people of Greater Accra Region. Yesterday, he kick-started his three-day tour in the Greater Accra Region. And also says, buy Ghana rice for Christmas. Dr. Baumia, NCCE, One Ghana Movement, promotes waste segregation in schools. And finally, the Daily Guide says... Blows over aborted referendum, minister withdraws bill. And also um, at the top it says, Attorney General receives Kaswa Cops killer docket. And Akufuado cuts sword for Kufu school. And NPP loses stalwart. Uh, Mr. Tommy Amemateko, unfortunately, has passed. And I'm sure you get all the details as and when. But in the studios, I have Andrew Ejapa Mesa. He is the MP for Second Data Credit. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Always a pleasure. How are you doing? I'm well. Don't be, don't be, you this, know, This is the because... first time that you are hosting me. Yes, it is the first time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What's a good day? Can't see I'm in all white. You're also yes, in all white yes, shirt, yes, so yes, it's yes. good. Yes. I'm sure we'll have a good time. I, I believe so. All well. right. And also, I have Nelson Defia Mepo. He is the MP for South Dai. Council, good morning. How are you? Well, I'm well. You're well? I'm tired, but I'm okay. What made you tired? Well, the work. Yeah? yeah so the argument the about the referendum cancellation? No, no, no. The weekend was stressful. I had about I had to attend about 16 funerals and about... 16 one, funerals? And about one festival. It's, wow. I just go back. Most of an MP. I know. Most of an MP. I'm sure you do that on a regular as well, yes, right? I you do. have to appear. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And, and then it's more hectic at the end of the month. You yeah. know, these days, most communities... Mm. The power of funerals. But it's what you signed up for. Your people it, need you. Exactly, so, so I'm not complaining. There's nothing you can do about <laughs> it. Complaining. But let's start off our conversation today with the referendum and the cancellation by the president. Uh, yesterday, the Attorney General officially presented it to Parliament, um, you know, that they were withdrawing the referendum. And it was met with some heavy criticism, which I was quite surprised about, because I thought the NDC didn't want this to go ahead. I thought they were advocating for a no vote. So how come all of a sudden... Um, they are not exactly happy about the cancellation of the referendum. What's going on? Uh, well, you want me to start? Well, okay, you can start. Okay. I was uh, going to direct it to council, but yeah, you can start. Yes. Well, and of course, to our uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, they did not advocate for a no. Mm. Mm. They, their no was conditional. Yeah. Their no was conditional to the extent that they said that the president should withdraw it. Yeah. And if he doesn't, then they would go ahead and ask their supporters to, to vote, no. yeah. vote for a no. Uh, thankfully, uh, after due consultation, uh, the president duly listened to the people of Ghana mm -hmm. and uh, came to the conclusion that uh, not much consultation uh, was, was done or has been done or the, the consultation doesn't seem to have gone down well with the yeah. people. And so uh, he had directed that the bill be redrawn. Mm -hmm. Uh, for further consultations to be undertaken before the uh, same is reproduced during his term. All right. Uh, uh, and so it was surprising when our friends who already were claiming victory mm -hmm. uh, through their press statements by their general secretary mm -hmm. now turn around and sought to oppose, if you like, the withdrawal of the, the withdrawal, referendum yeah. amendment bill. I, 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 I was amazed. Okay. But of course, there was not nothing that they could do about the decision to withdraw. Uh, bills are promoted by individuals. And our mm -hmm. standing orders, the constitution, everything uh, indicates that anybody who promotes a bill mm -hmm. at any time prior to the passage of the bill yeah. can come back and seek leave of Mr. Speaker to withdraw the bill. Okay. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. Mr. Speaker granted the, uh, mm -hmm. the leave and the bill was duly withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but they describe the president as a tyrant for going ahead with the withdrawal. And I would come to you because Alaji Nusaf Husseini was the one who said this, that the president is a dictator. I mean, of course, we do understand that the NDC was against it. So 
Was the president not right in withdrawing the referendum? Bella, uh, thank you. Let me customarily say good morning to my constituents yeah. in Peki, Pali, Pueve, Tongo. This weekend is Bizan, so we are inviting all Peki citizens and all white citizens to attend. Okay. Bella, yes, bills, bills can be withdrawn at any time mm -hmm. from parliament before passage. All right? Yeah. And that is fine. Okay. But we speak of a special type of bill. Mm -hmm. Indeed, the government brought two bills. Yeah. They brought one bill in respect of the amendment of, of Article 243. Yeah. All right? And another in respect of 55. Mm -hmm. We have no qualms if the president decides to withdraw two for the bill in respect of um, amending 243. Okay. But the technical issues we raised was in respect of the withdrawal of the bill in respect of uh, the amendment of 55. 55, okay. Why that? You see, the same constitution makes certain provisions. And the procedure is laid out in Article 294. Mm -hmm. It says that when a bill that seeks to amend an entrenched provision of the constitution is brought to parliament, yeah. it is first read and referred to the Council of State. Mm -hmm. When it leaves the Council of State, it goes to the the constitutional body in charge, which is in this case the Electoral Commission. Yeah. These procedures have been ignited. And what has the Electoral Commission done so far? The Electoral Commission has proceeded to issue the, the, the writ in respect of the referendum. Yeah. Issue the CI, CI 120, I have a copy. Mm -hmm. That is the regulations governing the referendum. So, so, Technically speaking, the Electoral Commission has been engaged with, it, with the, 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 the conduct of the referendum, which forms part of its mandate. Mm -hmm. And Article 46 of the Constitution says in the performance of its functions, the Electoral Commission is independent. Mm. You see the legal argument? Yeah. Now, we have a president who says that the Electoral Commission should stop, should, should not proceed with the conduct of the referendum. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we are construing that to mean to in, interfering in the day-to-day -day functions of the Electoral Commission. And our brothers disagree. But of course, you are being disingenuous. Please. It's not about being disingenuous. Actually, so what that, is it about that then? That is the because, law. Okay. That is the law. We are, not, we are not espousing the position. The law says you can't do that. So would it have been better if the EC came out to say that we're withdrawing it ourselves? It's the EC that has so to do so. So that's what you were expecting, exactly. not from the president. It is the Electoral Commission. That's, that's a that, false. Please, please, false please, 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 please. It is not for when you were speaking, okay. I was quiet. Carry on. Carry I am on speaking counsel. law. Okay. I am not, I am not, I'm not talking from any abstract thing. I've quoted you the law. Mm -hmm. If, if Electoral Commission is not engaged with the conduct of the referendum, that is fine. Mm -hmm. But now you are asking you are asking the Electoral Commission to not proceed with the, with the conduct of the referendum. And you are saying that we shouldn't Because we shouldn't there complain. was no national consensus. The same you opposition see, the, the, heavily the, criticized. Listen, listen. Uh -huh. government position is not based on, on, on a national consensus. What is it based this on? This is a government policy. Okay. They said that uh, all along they've been saying that they want to deliver on a, on a, on a manifesto promise. Mm -hmm. And the amendment of 55 is not about election of MMDCs. It is to allow political, political parties party participate. Yeah. The, the clause, the provision that allows the participation, the, the, the election of MMDCs mm -hmm. at, a, at a universal adult suffrage, is the 243. Why are they withdrawing 243? And that's the question I wanted to ask. Why would well. you proceed Why, with 243 yeah. Yeah. In, in fulfillment of your manifesto promise? Mm -hmm. So they are rather being exposed. Okay. And we are saying that the law is very clear. You can't, you cannot interfere with the with the day-to-day -day functions of the Electoral Commission. What the president has done amounts to an interference with the work of the Electoral Commission. Okay. That is our position. That's that's an absolute falsehood. You see why the procedure and let nobody confuse the issues. Mm -hmm. Parliament is seized with the power to make laws, pass all bills. There is no special bill and ordinary bill. Okay. The procedure for passing bills in Parliament are laid out clearly in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Safe to say that when the bill 
that is presented to Parliament relates to an amendment of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. A certain procedure is set out. All right. Okay. All right. So, ipso facto, Parliament is the body that is seized with the passage of the bill to amend the Constitution. Mm -hmm. The Electoral Commission is only to conduct a referendum that then elicits the views of Ghanaians whether Parliament should indeed go ahead to amend the Constitution or not. Mm -hmm. When the Electoral Commission is seized with their responsibility, they ought to put out regulations that govern the conduct of the election. That is, if there is an election to be conducted. Okay. That is, if there is a bill based on which a question ought to be put to the people of Ghana. So, the originating authorization that mandates the Electoral Commission to conduct the referendum is the bill. All right. So, if the President has redrawn the bill, how then does anybody say that he's interfering with the work of the Electoral Commission? Because how? He, well, he says that the EC should no, have no, been I'm the one to do it. I'm asking you, how, yeah. how, how? EC is not the originator of the bill. Mm. EC so, is only to conduct the referendum that is grounded on the bill. So they are acting per the um, command of who? Absolute, the president or the parliament? Of course. Okay. No, in fact, it's parliament. Yeah. Because the president through the attorney general presents a bill. Mm. The constitution says that when the bill affects the amendment of an entrenched provision. Certain procedure ought to go to be carried through, yeah. indeed, including the conduct of a re referendum. Mm -hmm. So if the bill is redrawn, what is there to conduct a referendum over? Mm. And how does that interfere with the work of the Electoral Commission? Okay. How? Okay. But listen to them. Bella. L let look, him land. Let him land in the country. Look, he's landed. Like, he has let's, something let's, to say. Let him land for, for clarity. <laughs> a, a Japa, a Japa, make your point please. without the bastardization. I haven't bastardized. No, you. You, if you say listen to them, yeah. as listen if, to the NDC. Well, listen saying to the well, NDC. Yes. Okay. No, no. But if if you say so, for me. For me, he may not. If he may not take offense, I yes, I take offense to that. I take offense to that. Very well. No problem. You see, let me. You finish. Okay. Finish. Please don't say to them time. again. The provisions <laughs> of the Constitution yeah. are very clear. Like I said, Article 106 mm -hmm. sets out the legislative power of Parliament, which says that Parliament may act through the passage of bills. Mm -hmm. Article 291, which is an amendment of the Constitution, if at 290, says, and for the benefit okay. of our Yeah, find it viewers, so you can read it for us. This article applies to the amendment of the following provisions of the Constitution, which are in this Constitution referred to as the entrenched provisions. It goes down uh -huh. and says in two, a bill for the amendment of an entrenched provision shall, before Parliament proceeds to consider it, be referred to the Speaker, be referred by the Speaker to the Council of State uh -huh. for its advice, and the Council of State shall render advice on the bill within 30 days right. after receiving it. The bill shall be published in the Gazette, that's three, uh -huh. but shall not be introduced into Parliament until the expiry of six days after the publication of the Gazette under this clause. Mm. After the bill has been first, been read the first time, if I, this even relates to the, yeah, this is the entrenched provision. Yeah. Okay. Where the bill is approved, okay, so let me go back. Mm -hmm. After the bill has been read the first time in Parliament, it shall not be proceeded with further unless it has been submitted to a referendum. Okay. Held throughout Ghana and at least 40% of the persons entitled to vote voted at the referendum and at least 75% of the persons who voted cast their votes in favor of the passing mm -hmm. of the bill. Five, where the bill is approved at the referendum, Parliament shall pass it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, where a bill for the amendment of an entrenched provision has been passed by Parliament in accordance with this article, the President shall assent to it. Where okay. are we? Okay. Where are we in this process? Mm. So your point is actually because then their problem is the fact that the president was the one who made that official announcement but that we were drawing it. You see, the president said that he had instructed mm -hmm. his local government minister who was championing the process to take steps to redraw the bill. So that's why Indeed. they're saying, why did the attorney general be the one to present well, it in well, parliament? Because the attorney the general was the one who introduced the bill to parliament. Mm. She was the sponsor, except that operationally, okay, in the operationalization of the, uh, the, the, the activities under that bill, mm -hmm. the local government minister was seized with that because it was a local government issue. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Bella. Okay. okay. So, so, Bella. so, so, uh, let's, you, let's, about two, let's give him a minute. You let him land. Let, let's minutes. give him a minute. Let him land and then you would. Okay. Well. Yeah. One minute. So, the talk that 
the process that was initiated yesterday does not accord with our laws. Mm -hmm. Cannot be true. Okay. And if you permit me, I'll read the standing orders of parliament, which are part of the laws of Ghana. Okay, so you read that and you let Order him speak. Order 132, it's categorical. Mm -hmm. It says, either before the commencement of public business or at the commencement of any stage of a bill, the member in charge of the bill may make a motion without notice for its withdrawal. Okay. We are dealing with a bill. The member who promoted the bill was the Attorney General. On the order and authority of His Excellency oh, the President, President, the Attorney General has come to Parliament pursuant to Order 132 to redraw the bill. And our friends say what? Uh, Bella. Okay. Council, come in. Yeah, Bella. Let me refer you to Article 46 of the Constitution. Okay. It says, except as provided in this Constitution mm -hmm. or in any other law, not inconsistent with the Constitution, in the performance of its functions, yeah. the Electoral Commission shall not be subject to the direction mm -hmm. or control of any person or authority. All right. This is the law. My brother should, should tell me that when the Electoral Commission issued the rate, promulgated CI 120, Coming out with regulations governing the conduct of the referendum in two weeks' time. Yeah. They were not performing their functions of office. Mm. They you, should, you should tell me. Yes, they well, were. He says they were. Exactly. And so, if in the performance of the functions of office, you take an executive decision mm -hmm. that torpedoes the performance of that function, what have you done? Have you not conducted yourself unconstitutionally? Okay. They, they have misapplied the law. We are saying that if you take an executive decision that seeks to halt a legitimate process, mm -hmm. you have to, you, what you have to do is to ask the Electoral Commission to now come back to Parliament because the CI 120 uh, was brought before Parliament. Before them, okay. And gazetted. All it right. is based on the 120 that we are proceeding. Mm -hmm. It is the Electoral Commission that must come to Parliament and withdraw CI 120. So if they had done it, then there wouldn't have been this much Of course, it is their function. If they decide to discontinue, that is it. That is their mandate. But would you I still not have had a problem because the President still went ahead to announce it anyway? So if the EC so, comes, no, no. still complain. So, I am say, so we are saying that when the President conducted himself in that manner, he has conducted himself unconstitutionally. Go okay. to the Supreme Court. Look. Exactly. So, 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 so. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Yapa. No, let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Argument. I have exactly quoted the law. Okay. I quoted 290. You, you quoted the same law. It's a constitutional procedure. Mm. Can you, can Parliament sidestep this procedure? Mm. No. So, in the, so, in, whilst, in, in, whilst, in, in, in following that procedure, you, you bring to life constitutional provisions that occasions also into life the functions of a constitutional body mm -hmm. which functions is being truncated and you think that we should sit aloof and look at you Bella, okay read the provision again mm. you are misapplying Satisfies. the law except and you are doing so oh, as if please, you are in a kangaroo state please, please, please this is constitution look mm. the constitution itself limits the power of the electoral commission and makes it subject to other provisions to of order. the constitution okay okay so, to the extent that there's a bill, the Electoral Commission in conducting the election, okay, yeah. ought not be interfered with. So, to the extent that there's no bill, mm -hmm. how do you conclude that the Electoral Commission is being interfered with in their way? Okay. Bella, I, read the provision. I, Bella, I, what are you talking about? Bill? Yes, we do. The bill has been redrawn. When? Yesterday. You did so yesterday. Uh, so, we are so, saying, so, we are saying, so, you see, the bill has so not been passed. We are saying that you are misapplying the law because... Before electoral commission's mandate is sprung into life, mm -hmm. that is when That's you have to withdraw the bill. Yeah. Look, you see, you, can, you, see, you can't. So they waited so, too long. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. They went to sleep. And, the and they've always been sleeping on the job. And the e ex uh, deputy EC chair for Prince So, for instance, said, for instance, assuming that they, they, are, they are withdrawing this bill on the 16th of December. We wouldn't have had a choice. We would have still gone ahead. E exactly. Bella. I back exactly. my statement with. A legal authority. I have backed mine with law also okay. constitutional and provision. I'm saying that you are being disingenuous with your interpretation. You are being disingenuous Let, with your okay. interpretation. 
You are saying that there's I, I, I'm saying this no, is no please, ordinary please, bill. Roxy, this okay. is no ordinary bill. Show me where the definition this of ordinary, ordinary, ordinary bills are in the okay. This is a bill that, that is going which to... Which bill is ordinary and which is extraordinary? What I want to know, because the EC deputy chair said that um, some ballot papers had been printed, exactly. a few things, some money had exactly. been spent in preparing, exactly. um, you know, Ghanaians for the December 17 referendum. Unfortunately, now that it's been withdrawn... All that goes to waste. If anybody is misapplying the law, they are misapplying the law. Did they consult the EC to at least ascertain how much has been spent and whether, you know, the, the amount spent warranted a need for a withdrawal or to go ahead just well, so we it, don't end it, up wasting it, it, the it money? Wasn't, it wasn't a requirement for okay. the EC to be consulted okay. regarding expenditure that has been made so far. Okay. The president at his national address was clear mm. that, look, I was under the impression by the consultations that I've had. Yeah. All the way. So the president so was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, let, hold let on. him land. Hold on. Let him no, land. Hold on. you see, he's you misinforming see, the public. Your, it is your, not true your, that it is your, not the electoral your, commission that expends on the conduct of the referendum. It mm, is the electoral the commission. Electoral commission. They expend money. It is not the executive that gives money to the electoral commission. Mm. Their allocation is done what, by what, parliament. What misinformation okay, have I provided? You are saying that it is, you, it, it is not okay, the electoral commission. It wasn't required for the electoral it commission to be consulted. To, to be yes. consulted. Before the decision to withdraw was taken. Oh, okay. You okay. didn't say that's so. the point. No, that's, no, that's he, actually what he no, said. That it wasn't, see, it wasn't the... See, no, no, no. That's see, what he said. See, yeah. Roxon, but for your party, led by Mr. Mahama, his Your desire, President yes, Mahama. His Excellency, the man who is on pension, enjoying a terminal benefit under the Constitution, and who says he's, he's coming on back. pension? Of course. Go, go to court. Read Article 6 of the 2 of the He's on pension. Go to, go to court. Okay. He's earning a, a Japa, pensions. A Japa, go to please, court. Please terminal. make, a, make a Japa, your point. Go to court. <laughs> Oh, you just told me to go, go to the Supreme see, Court mm. see, for the interpretation oh, of the Constitution. Well, can we, can we not, we not a Stop the call. propaganda and go to court. Okay. Go and test the law. You have mm. read the Constitution. Yes. You, know, you were making yes. a point about Make the your expense. point and don't bring in Mahama. What? Since when do you, you need see, Mahama to deliver on your manifesto? No, nobody problem? needs you are not, him. You are not even ashamed. Mm. But you see, of course, we differ in our political views. And I've always said that when it comes to some issues that bother on the building of our nation. Yeah. We ought not play politics with it. Absolutely. I guess it was in that spirit that His Excellency the President invited all former presidents and held meetings with them regarding his plan yeah. for amending some provisions of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And the President said that, look, at that meeting, he came out of that meeting believing that each and every one of the former presidents who were there was at Eden with him with respect to introducing multi-party uh, But the former president said he never approved or never did his word. I haven't heard him. Mm -hmm. I've heard his party his spokespersons. Party, yeah. He has a spokesperson in his office. Mm -hmm. Let him issue a statement. Okay. After all, when the Otunfo made a statement at a, a, a public lecture, mm -hmm. they responded yeah. and called him a liar. Mm. So let them issue a statement and call the president a liar. Okay. Okay. It's not see, enough that not, his party which, has what, what is enough? Has said that he did not how, specifically no, say no, hold on, hold on, hold on. that I'm he agrees to the referendum. Look, look, hold on, hold on, counsel. We please. sit here and we are told mm -hmm. by the NDC that the position that was taken by their national chairman at a consultative meeting held by IDEC, mm -hmm. the position that was taken by their general secretary, all in support of the amendment of Article 55 mm -hmm. was their personal views. It is not true. That is what it was, your, it was your on national... support of 243. Please, please, please. please. And, please. Not, Japa, and not 55. No, I have okay. quotes. No. quotes. Unfortunately, I didn't bring quotes. my documents. You have quotes. My car. Look, you have quotes. I've seen video mm -hmm. of your party leaders. But of course, that's the NDC for you. See, when it's you, please let me make my point. When, when, when you say that, that's the NDC I, I, for you, what exactly? But I'm going to give you another instance when we speak of their history. They yeah. say, they say this is no. Yeah. Look, you recall when we're doing the amendment of the national identification. You take an executive decision to proceed with two bills, and because of perceived perceived opposition to your position, you take it out.
Is that a serious government? They chicken out. They chicken out. But if they had gone ahead with it, you'd say they are not a listening government. No. Who, who would have said so? Have, who has who the, has the FPP so? ever listened to anybody in this country? But in this case, they've listened. Listen to whom? And withdrawn Because they're chicken out. They were losing. Why won't they proceed with 243? Which says that get MMDC elected. elected. If they are truly committed to the process, the president would have Did proceeded you listen to the with the 243. Did you listen to the president? When president so would it have been okay if they had withdrawn 55-1 and still the proceeded? The 55 is what everyone else is, is against. As for the 243, proceed with it. You only... Look, we have concluded the debate in parliament. You see, um, what was outstanding was, was the question to be put. Okay. Was the question. But for some other issues, this question would have been taken in July. Raised by... Mm. I don't know. You see... I don't know. Look, when I made am reference I, to am I in leadership? that this is the NDC for me, I know yeah. the reason. Look, Bella, am I in leadership? Am I, am I the leader of government business? Look, I could, I is the leader of government business that this. controls I the business of the house? Okay. Look, you recall when we did the amendment for the National Identification Authority mm -hmm. and amended the requirements for the uh, eligibility mm. or the ID systems yeah. that will be admitted. They were in parliament in support I can recall quite clearly Amako Fibua, his views on the need for us to amend that provision and take out the uh, NHIS card. Yeah. Two days thereafter, their general secretary came to parliament. I saw him with my naked eyes. Uh -huh. Then their position changed. Uh -huh. Two days. That's exactly what they've done, they've done in respect of this Bella, matter. Can I react to this? Let me yes, finish. You, you can react. Can I react to this? That's you exactly. Because you on the floor for Because you see. I will give you enough time you see, to also speak. Trust me. All they think about is what were near to their political benefit. Electoral benefit. Mm. They don't think of the nation. They don't think of they, the nation? Absolutely. But same has been Look, said about your Oh, let them say it. I will justify well. it. Let, them, let him say it and justify it. Okay. Okay. It was clear. That we had done the re regions. Mm -hmm. Was it not on consensus? Yeah. It was. Were both parties not at Edem? They were. All voted for yes? Yes. So why did they chicken out at the last minute or made the U10? Only five weeks to the referendum. Because they said they realized no, there were. No, some, no, 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 no. Let me tell you, let me tell you. They that, noticed. Oh, you don't know the NDC. They realized that, ah, this thing. We can use to, to test our popularity on the ground, though. You think that's why? That's exactly you what informed their decision. You sit here and, and not the fact that they were actually what? against the idea well, of... I'm I told you that their national chairman and their general secretary are on record... And you are not testing your popularity. have supported... And you are not testing your popularity. The general secretary uh, said uh, uh, that Bella, if they invite some, some Bella, individuals Bella, to attend yeah. the and discussion, that, it doesn't this represent, it's not a representation of the entire party. So the invitation party. went to him as what? Mr. Asiye don't get it. And so then later they oh, realized Bella. there were some problems him? and decided. You well, that's him? what he said. I have to take his I'm word for it. I'm telling you Bella, that. May I, may I, may I yes. react? Subsequently. Please land so he can speak. They went into caucus and realized that, Nana Kufado, when we allow him to do this, will be satisfying his campaign promise to the people of Ghana. Mm -hmm. He needs 75. Without us, who we'll have about 30-40% of the vote. Oh, and this is 30 percent But that's what you got in the last election. I see. How much did you get? 44 point what? I see. But that's not 30. Oh that's... yes, whatever. 40%. <laughs> Without us, the, he cannot meet the 75%. Okay. So and that's that even why... if, Absolutely. Okay, let, let council come Pure in and mischief. tell us. Council, uh, what do Bella, you have to say about... people should Bella, see them. Bella, Bella, please, Ejapa, Ejapa. Bella, yeah. it is not correct that we advocated for the, the deletion of the NHI, NHI card yeah. in respect of the, um, the, the NIA Amendment Act. What happened at the committee level, and I'm a member of the committee, mm -hmm. is that we took a decision to include NHIS card, to include um, uh, the voter's ID card, and other things. Okay. Now, when we had to take a decision, the chairman of the committee realized that we had to number them the minority. Mm -hmm. So the question was deferred. Okay. Now, we never had any other meeting, only for us to discover that a report had been prepared and voter's ID card had been taken out. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. NHIS had been taken out, 
and some other relevant identification documents. A report has been prepared by Please. Who? We took up this matter because. By who? A report has been prepared. Who prepared that? By the clerk to the who? committee. It, okay. was a, the committee. it was a joint referral. All right. This matter, it was a joint referral to the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee and Defense and Interior. And you were not made aware that they were going to take those out. Let me tell you what happened. The signing of the report, it took almost the whole day mm. because we resisted it. Because if they sign the report and it's brought to plenary... But do, you, was, do you, minority, please, do you sign a report? Please, please. Do you... Oh. Oh. Ask him whether he signed a report. We had ranking members who make it. Ranking members sign reports. I, I am not saying they signed the report. I said the signing. I said the signing. He said the signing took the whole day. How can it take a whole day? Let him land. Let him land. You used let to be a member of the committee. So, I'm asking you... That's a minority sign report. So, we resisted. You resisted. And I sat in all the discussions. It took so long. Eventually, they said that they will not include the the voters' ID card. Mm. They will not include the the uh, NHIS, NHIS card is, yeah. because there was the Supreme Court decision that even directed that all those who registered with the NHIS card, the EC should take steps to re-register them and delete the original uh, 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 registration based okay. on the NHIS card. All right. So eventually, the report was brought. They use their numbers to bulldoze it through. That is how come the voters' ID card and the other relevant means of ad identifying Ghanaians mm -hmm. were taken out. It's, it's been a pain for the NDC to today. Yeah, so, the, no, he can, he, he, he can smile. He can smile. Okay. Went through first reading. Please, please, please. Second please. reading. We can do this. Now, let him land. Now, he wanted now, to address another yes, now, issue now, as well. Now, the referendum. Yeah. What is Sejapa saying? He says that what? Then the, 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 the general secretary of the party said what? Mm. We can always have a position on a matter. Yeah. And we are from day one, we asked the government that if you seek, if you are truly committed to this process mm -hmm. and you seek to do this, first of all, don't do it in piecemeal. Piecemeal okay. being that when you seek to amend 243 by two test majority, mm -hmm. there will be other consequential amendments yeah. that will follow in the constitution. Yeah. For instance, article 246 will have to go. Yeah. Or a portion amended. 247, a portion will have to be amended. 248, Eight. 249, yeah. 97. 97 makes provision for when the office of an MP becomes vacant. Okay. We needed to draft a similar provision to make provision for when the circumstances under which the position of an elected DC will become will be. vacant. That is okay. like a sister clause. All right. So we urge the government to bring a compendium of a bill detailing all these amendments. Ask me whether they did it. Okay. So the NDC discovered that truly the MPP was not committed to the process. Wow. They, they had a certain agenda. Bella, otherwise, tell me why you want to use another time. To come out to come back to parliament and amend 246, 247, 249. At least I, I believe that they were starting with one so they can. How do you with start with one? I, look, we frown on piecemeal legislation. Mm. We frown on that. Are you truly committed? So that when a DC is elected today, the president can, for instance, under a constitutional provision, dismiss him from yes. office. Okay. Mm. You see. You, you understand my you point? Mean. Okay. So oh. we realized they were oh, not yeah, committed. No, I'll give you the chance to speak. <laughs> so, so we realized that they were not committed. Okay. They were simply not committed. That's the case? That's the case. If they are truly committed, why are they not maintaining 243 and simply proceeding to say that let, let us not proceed with the referendum, which is about 5-5. Five five. Mm. But to we'll go ahead and say that MMDC is, you, you go and get elected at the invested adult suffrage. Okay. What I want to know is that, okay, this whole back and forth about who should have announced it, who should have sent it to Parliament and all that, what is the way forward? Because Ghanaians have also been left in the limbo. Uh, EC says we'll still go ahead with the other election for the Assembly members and all of that. But then what is the future plan for this particular amendment? Well, it means uh, any president can wake up one day and interfere with the you, work of the uh, you, EC. You see? Just like mm. that. You see? That's what, that's what has happened. Um, if the president is not checked, that's what has happened. Lawyer Jaffa. Do you agree? How am I supposed to agree with this statement? So what is your thought? He's my friend. I would, I would have used harsher words. He's oh. a very good friend. You use harsher words all the time. You see, so. look, Bella, let's, let's be clear mm -hmm. on this matter. What originated in Parliament 
for the amendment of the referendum yeah. was a bill. Mm -hmm. A bill can be redrawn at any time before it's passed, regardless of the process. Because when bills are laid in Parliament, if it's a bill that is intended to amend a, a, an Act of Parliament, yeah. or to introduce another Act of Parliament to cure some mischief that government has realized exists, it goes through a process of first reading, referred to the committee, committee de de deliberates on the, uh, uh, the object of the bill, okay. goes through all the clauses, one after the other, submits a report to Parliament, Parliament then does a second reading mm -hmm. and then goes through a consideration stage. After which, a third reading of the bill is done and passed. Okay. And then it's forwarded it's to the forwarded. president for assessment. This is not that kind of bill. This is not that kind of bill. Said when it's, an, it's intended to amend an act of parliament. Okay. At any time during that process, at any time, the promoter of the bill, pursuant to order 132 of the standing order of parliament, can seek leave to redraw the bill. And mm. this happened several times. Now, when it comes to the constitution, either the amendment of an entrenched or an oh, unentrenched no clause, yeah. the procedure is not going through first, second, third reading and consideration. Mm -hmm. It goes through a certain process, referral to Council of State or referral to Council of State and or the Electoral Commission for a referendum to conduct to be conducted. Okay. That's all procedure. Mm -hmm. Now, during that procedure, as has been enacted, the bill can be redrawn. By who? By the promoter of the bill. Okay. In this case, the attorney, the attorney general, general acting on the instructions. Because bear in mind that we have an executive presidency. Bella, can I come Okay, in? no, let me finish. I'll let you come in, please. Let me Hold finish. On. Please. I'll let you and come so, in so we can quickly move on to any suggestion yeah. that as well. the redrawal of the bill mm -hmm. is an interference with the work of the Electoral Commission. Because they then, if it is required that the yeah. referendum be conducted or to set regulations for the conduct of the election. Mm -hmm. And that now that the bill has been redrawn, then there is nothing for them to conduct a referendum on. Mm -hmm. And so, accordingly, they have to truncate the process. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yes, I recognize that some cost may have been incurred. And it is precisely for the reason that conducting the referendum on its own will be expensive was why government took a decision to tie it with the local government elections mm -hmm. that in itself was due to be held on 17th November 2019 to cut down significantly on the cost. So indeed, the decision itself to conduct the re referendum together okay. with the assembly elections was intended to be cost-saving. And so now that we are left with the uh, local government elections, I guess that that's what we have to carry through it and ensure mm -hmm. that the momentum that is generated Across the nation, be... people will still go in and vote, participate at the local level. Well, they will election. edit the albeit the we all know him. information out there, so people. I'm sure understand. he's going to meet his sponsored assemblyman in his constituency over the weekend. Mischief? It's this a here. matter of fact. It's it's here. And, <laughs> but you can't, and, and you can't uses, make such claims. And, 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 I don't yeah. think you have any see, evidence to indicate let's that. Let's pretend that he is your relatives. Yeah, but you can't say let's that he pretend sponsored them. Let's pretend to be ostriches. Bella, Bella okay. let's pretend. You shouldn't, okay. you shouldn't okay. kill my time. Okay. His general secretary, kill my time. His general secretary, in 2011, announced at their party national congress that they had won 60% of the assembly election. What is Where is that? Let let council come in as well. Bella. Let not my friend and let no scholar in constitutional law say that the provisions in the constitution mm -hmm. can be torpedoed by the, the provisions of our standing orders. Mm. They are subservient to the constitution. Okay. So where the standing orders provides that a bill can be withdrawn by the sponsor mm -hmm. before it is enacted into law, the bill we speak of is no such a bill. Okay. This is a bill which, when you are dealing with, brings to life the functions of another constitutional body. And Article 46 is the only provision that empowers the Electoral Commission to carry out its carry mandate. Out its mandate, okay. And this mandate has been properly sprung into life by this process. Mm -hmm. And my brother says that the executive decision, that consequently, or as a consequence means 
that the electoral committee cannot perform the functions of office, yeah. it is fine with him as a constitutional law how, scholar. How how is the how is the withdrawal of the bill <laughs> impeding the electoral commissioner from you see, carrying out well, the Well, because he says they are supposed to be independent, and in but this but case, who? no, 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 Bella, you Bella, see how I have I have done an, an executive decision, <laughs> and that is why I have insisted that they have misapplied the law. The it law. would be good to go you to see, the Supreme Court. Who go like the way you also say that? It looks like we have we have to go to the Supreme Court for a lot. But anyway, so Crystal Crystal is on standby. We want to hear from people, our viewers as well, what they think about the discussion and the referendum. And they're coming in. Yes, from Issa and Tamale says. As a fact, NDC, NDC should learn much about our Ghana constitution and stop beating about the bush. Ghanaians are tired of their propaganda. Nana and his able vice president, we are really proud of you. Okay. What at all does the NDC want? You said no to a bill and the bill is withdrawn and still you are complaining. Do you oppose to everything because you are in opposition? Kofi Senyo is my name. Okay. AU Farouk um, Tamale North constituency says, good morning. The withdrawal of the referendum has... Save the president from shame. Come 17th December, this must be a signal to the government that things are not well. Referendum is for the people. Any results from it is the voice of the people. You don't only go ahead with the referendum when you expect a yes win and withdraw when you fear a no win. The referendum should have gone on anyway. A withdrawal is financial loss cause. I now understand why the president quickly re uh, created re relatively more districts in the Ashanti region earlier on. It's an agenda backfire. That's from AEC Fly in uh, Enchi. Good morning, TV3. I'm really, I really like Andrew Ejapa very much per his arguments, but my problem is when he's about lying to us, uh, he starts shouting, we Ghanaians are watching them and will surely send them back to opposition. David Asante in Isawam. Good morning, Bella. Honorable Mesa. Uh, is indefatigably, pardon me, indefatigably trying to drag Honorable uh, His Excellency John Mahaba into their failure to smuggle in the amendment of Article 55, uh, Subsection 3, which was not on the table for discuss discussion since the debates began with their 2016 manifestos. Where is the amendment of the article coming from? In is, the, is it part of the MPP 2016 manifesto as a social contract uh, document? Mr. President came into office with this mindset and it has backfired. And now they want to add the NDC to their shame. Who say man no day? President Nana Ado should have allowed us to go through the referendum and see how he and his party would be walloped by the no votes. That's from Yahuza, a.k.a. best teacher in Tamale. All right. Thank you so much, Crystal. And on Twitter, Pray for Ghana says that lawyer Japa Mesa should be blunt and tell us that his so-called listening president would also listen to the ordinary taxpayers and would draw the construction of the National Cathedral too. This is this insensitive government must be sacked for misleading Ghanaians. Wow. Okay. Uh, let me see if I find another one. So Trig says that today is the best new day pairing I have ever watched. Proper insight. I'm really learning a lot from our panelists. Okay. But building a national cathedral is not a constitutional question, is it? But people are against that as well. Of course. Yes. You say but you're a listening no, government. Of course. Yeah, the government is a listening government. But so I'm saying. Are you not listening to the people? I'm saying. I'm saying. There are roads to be oh, built. Yes, just time, yesterday, during the president's uh, three day you know, tour of Greater Accra, what was at the top of the conversation was the bad roads, bad state the of roads, roads in the country. Our friends in the NDC had indicated to us that they had constructed all of it. Indeed. How, how could any Indeed. government construct all roads? That's what you said. We, did, we never when, said. So. When candidate, we then candidate said, so we, Ufado, And we compare your ranking member for roads to withdraw. Said, similar comments. said that he drove in western region mm -hmm. and everywhere he went what he was confronted with with bad roads yeah. they told us that he was sleeping mm. so how come but man three sleeps. years but the man sleeps. you don't sleep i sleep in my home I don't you don't sleep, sleep. <laughs> on the job. you don't sleep, don't sleep. I don't sleep oh on my the way job. sleeping on the okay. job is held more cabinet meetings than the man who was always carrying a the passport. cabinet so, meetings that that results in pda so okay that results national in, in withdrawing referendums bills that you go a whole going to some of you indicated clearly the ambulances we've been time. we've been told that they are fixing some gadgets on it mm -hmm. to make it trackable for people to i mean easily incorporate the digital addresses and system okay in there so that it's easier for people when they're in distress yeah. they to we're also reached. told you that see? there's supposed to be some ceremony to officially outdoor oh well that that well. is a is a is a as a consequence of a policy that has been you know uh, uh, delivered there's a and policy so, that says clearly that there has to be a ceremony no i'm saying that if it's 
the intention is to adore it, I don't see what the issue is. Well, so long people as people are in need of no, people ambulances. are in need, but if the equipment that they intend to fix on them are not ready mm -hmm. or haven't been completed, are you saying that they, if they fix one, they should release one to go? Should they not? No, I people think that it should be it. distributed so that we have okay. a full complement of ambulances that will serve okay. the needs of our people. Okay. Precisely the reason why we bought them and didn't buy shells that are still sitting at the Air Force tarmac like our friends did. <laughs> Council, uh, Bella. please come in so we can wrap yes, up. Yes, Bella. Um, the ambulance matter is a very serious one. Mm. And I don't... I don't like the way Japan is not seeing the seriousness of this matter. You were in government for eight years. How many did you Before the eight years, there was an eight years, eh, Japan. Before the eight years, there was an eight years. But there's a new eight so, years. So we are all so, in agreement. So, 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 so don't tell me that we're in Previous government Previous governments have not done much for us Bella, in terms Bella, of... We Bella, 300. Bella, we, in the we, health we, health the Bella we provided ambulance to the ambulance service. Don't, don't you see ambulance on the road? How many did you provide? Just at 2018, only 55 ambulances yes, were the available the, the entire country. The complaint is that they were inadequate. Mm -hmm. We procured ambulance before we left office. They came to say that they were not fit for purpose. Mm. Now you go... Who said? You said Your own Minister of Health declared oh, them not fit for purpose before he left please, office. Please. We, you know we how many months we were sitting there? Can we talk about this? Just make your point so we can go, yeah. You also go and procure an ambulance. That clearly is not fit for purpose. Now you are asking for weeks and months to fit gadgets before you release them to the people. Mm -hmm. When you come to Southern and you want to allocate us an ambulance, who, is, who, who, who has the data on the houses and the names of the people who own them in Southern? Mm. So I am struggling to believe that that is what they are actually doing. We need the ambulance in Southern. Give it to us. Mm. We know the routes. Yeah. I know from Ajebui to Anyensu. I know from Anyensu to what was. I, I know from. Well, are you going from the ambulance? Well, they will, no, they will they will be a driver. Give it to the constituency. There will be a driver. Okay. Okay. There's, there's, there's a health service. management. We'll there's a the district health management team. We already have one ambulance driver. Mm -hmm. An ambulance that's operating. Okay. All right. In your constituency. So yes. Though we have operational difficulties. The NACS okay. said the ambulance will never come out today asking that. Look, I will. But they've come. Which NACS? Can we distribute them instead of... Which NACS? They should be distributed. Can I urge for a while? I urge, I urge We are asking you to do... Even if, even if you to want to hold a grandiose parade, you can do so in part one and part two. Mm. Release some. So that instead when of the rest waiting come, for the they, rest to come Instead of allowing people to still die in gory accidents, in under emergency situations, we are not saying that even the ambulance will resolve completely that. Yeah. But it will, it will help to reduce... So you see the, the wisdom in the... Uh, which right. wisdom? Did, in the did we provide ambulance How many before did you provide? Well, well, ah, you, are, you are saying it's inadequate. We don't have if much time anymore. What so so burns buses that were This is, well, this is where we wrap up. Did you buy video? Did you buy video? Did you go from a city? Did you go from a city? Did you go from a city? So yes, it's still TV3 News Day. And I had in the studio's lawyer, Andrea Japa Mesa, MP, Sekendi Takarade, and Council Nelson Defia Mepo. He's the MP South Dai. Thank you so much for joining us on the show and it's we'll see you again idea. this week. He's Hopefully. accusing us of buying Benz. They also went to buy Mercedes. Empty Mercedes Benz. Empty Mercedes Benz. Anyway, we'll